leaking transmission fluid lines, aluminum threads stripped out, what are we to do? That and more in this episode of 316 Automotive. All right, I was replacing the seals in the transmission lines. There's one of them you can see. It's an aluminum washer with uh, rubber on the inside. And the old rubber was all corroded and hard, and so it was leaking. Got some new ones, was replacing them. There's the banjo bolt that come out, and that's about half the threads that came out of the aluminum case on the transmission. Yeah, that banjo bolt, she ain't holding and sealing no more. So here's what we're going to do. I measured that banjo bolt and it turns out it's a M14 by one and a half. And so you get yourself a helicoil kit on the internet. You can get them anywhere. And here's how we're going to do that. Okay. Here's the banjo fitting. That fitting right there came out fine. Replace that. It's all good. It's just got a little bit of oil on it from, you know, this thing spraying around. This one here uh, came out with all those threads. And so we're going to have to helicoil this. So what we're going to do is drill it, tap it, and put the helicoils in, and we should be good to go. And I'll show you how to do that. All right, here's the top tip. Before you do the drilling, and you can see the threads are all worked out of there, I stuffed uh, a segment, a little piece of paper towel up in there to catch all the, uh, the drill bits and or the um, shavings and things like that. And then I can just get some needle nose pliers in there and pull that all out and it'll be fine. So stick something in there so you don't leave any shavings, all right? Okay. Oh heck yeah, that's pretty. Yeah. Pour some fluid in. Then blow air in. Yeah. The fluid's gonna come out. But there's a bend. If there's any metal. There's a vent for the transmission now, too. It might blow, yeah, but it better. All right, do it. Woo. Again. Okay, that'll do it. Did it look like it flushed good? Oh, yeah. Oh, excellent. Flush an excellent idea, dude. Excellent idea. <laughs> We even got that on phlegm. <laughs> Here's the install tool, and you can see it's got a catch right on it that that the tang on the helicoil fits into, and then See that little notch on the bottom of the helical? You break that tang off with a punch and then pull it out and then you're good. This is after the install, so here we go.
heel coil is just a little bit sub flush, which is where you want it. I just torqued it to 22 Newton meters, which is the spec. I did put a little, little sealant, high temp sealant, like you saw me do. Just because I felt better about it. So that one's got the heel coil. That one does not, but that torqued up just fine. So this was the booger. And that is how you put in a heel coil. That one, the banjo bolt was a 14 millimeter by 1.5 millimeters per thread. Not threads per inch, millimeters per thread. The metric is a little bit different. So you just account for that. And I just looked it up on eBay and ordered the heel coil kit. So you're going to get a tap and you're going to get the heel coils and you're going to get the insertion tool and the uh, 9 16 drill bit that it calls out for on the kit, you gotta supply that. Fine, I had one, so that's good. So, all right.